Now tonight to some late breaking news coming in. Former Secretary of State, renowned diplomat Henry Kissinger has died. He leaves a storied political history, having served multiple presidents, shaping foreign policy for generations. ABC's George Stephanopoulos has more on Kissinger's incredible life and career. For more than 60 years, Dr. Henry Kissinger was one of the most influential and controversial figures in American foreign affairs. A Jewish refugee who fled Nazi Germany at 15 with his family, Kissinger became a U.S. citizen in 1943, awarded both the Nobel Peace Prize and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. The Republican stalwart served as a part-time foreign policy advisor to both Presidents Kennedy and Johnson as well. In 1969, Kissinger was a political scientist at Harvard University when President Richard Nixon named him national security advisor. I shall nominate and send to the Senate for confirmation the name of Dr. Henry Kissinger. Four years later, he became Secretary of State. There is no country in the world where it is conceivable that a man of my origins could be standing here next to the President of the United States. Kissinger helped reestablish relations between the U.S. and China, worked to relieve tensions between the U.S. and the Soviet Union, which resulted in a nuclear weapons treaty. It's a significant step towards the prevention of nuclear war. Back in the U.S., with the Vietnam War becoming increasingly unpopular, Kissinger played a major role in the Nixon administration's policy that escalated, then ended the war. Tensions rose when Kissinger helped orchestrate the controversial and secret U.S. bombing campaign in Cambodia, which killed tens of thousands of people. In 1974, the Watergate scandal led Richard Nixon to resign, but Kissinger stayed under President Gerald Ford. He left office with the Ford administration in 1977, but continued informally advising presidents of both parties. Kissinger was a diplomat until the very end, meeting with leaders around the globe, traveling to China over the summer meeting with President Xi Jinping and in September sitting down with Ukraine's President Zelensky during his trip to the U.S. His presence on the world stage felt long after he officially left. Last year, I sat down with the former Secretary of State as he reflected on his life of service. Any key decisions you would take back today? You know, that's a question I'm often asked. <laughs> <laughs> and I have developed no great answer for it because I've been thinking about these problems all my life. It's my hobby, it's, well, it's my occupation. And so the recommendations I made were the best of which I was then capable. Dr. Henry Kissinger was 100 years old. Remarkable life of service. George, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.